In this lesson, we're looking at finding the slope of a graph, also known as the rate of change. So let's get started. What exactly is a rate of change or a slope? It is a ratio that shows how one variable changes with respect to another one. So on a graph, those variables would be X and Y. So think about your X and Y axis. On a linear graph, this is called the slope of the line. So on a linear graph or a graph that is a line, it is called the slope of a line. Now the slope is written uh, in uh, as a ratio. It's a vertical change and that is called your rise and is also a horizontal change and that is called your run between any two points on a line. This remains constant for any two points on the same line and slope is written as a fraction in simplest form. So no mixed numbers with I'm writing the slope. It's a fraction or you can write it as a whole number. But remember, under every whole number, there is a one. And so, for example, if your slope is two, that slope will actually be two over one. And the variable that we use for slope is the variable M. So first, let's look at the types of slopes. So the first slope we have is a line that actually goes up from left to right, and that is a positive slope. And so think that we read, or remember that we read from left to right. So since this line goes up, increases from left to right, that is a positive slope. Our next type of slope is a line that falls from left to right. So it goes down from left to right, or it decreases and that is a negative slope. And next we have a horizontal line and that is a zero slope. And when we do some examples, you'll see why a horizontal line is a zero slope, as well as uh, a vertical line is undefined. And again, we'll look at when we do the ex some examples, um, you'll see why a vertical slope is considered undefined. And so we have two examples here. We want to find the slope of each line and write our answer in simplest form. Leave improper fractions as mixed numbers. And so we want to reduce the fractions, but um, we leave them improper and we don't want any mixed numbers. And so with slope, we have rise over run, as mentioned earlier. Um, and so rise is your change in your Y value or your vertical change or up or down. Okay. The run is a change in your X and that is the horizontal change or left or right. Okay. So let us start with number one. I want to start at the point closest to my left. So I have these dots here that I'm going to use. And if you don't have dots on your lines, you just pick two points on the line and it has to be where our grid intersects. So it has to be where the, the grid intersects vertically or horizontally. And then I, what I want to do, I want to start at the point closest to my left and then count up or down till I get to the point um, closest to my right or on my right. So let's try number one. So I'm starting here. I'm going to go up one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So my rise or my horizontal or my vertical change is seven. And then I'm going to go over one, two, three, four. My run or my horizontal change is four. And my slope rise over run will be seven over four. I cannot reduce this fraction here. So I leave it as seven over four. Um, and keep in mind that I'm, I'm telling you to start at the point closest to your left. That is not the only way you find a slope. You can start um, on your right, but I think it's just easier because we read from left to right. And when you start um, from the right, you can see that, um, OK, this is a positive slope because this line goes up from left to right. And I have to count up my run is or my rise is positive. So let's take a look at number two. My point is here. It's where my 
grid intersects and here. So I'm going to count down one, two, three. So my rise is negative three and my run is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And so my run is nine. My slope is m equals negative three over nine, which reduces to negative one third. Keep in mind that if one number in a fraction is negative, the entire fraction is negative. So it does not matter where I put the negative sign. I could put it with the three, it could be with a nine, um, or the one and or the three, or it could be in the middle. So it doesn't matter where you put that negative as long as you put it there. So now with this particular one, I used the dots we were given, but notice here I have, I'm gonna write in purple, I have another point or point of intersection with my grids. So you can see it right here that uh, where it intersects so I could have used this point and I'm going to use the same point again and notice what happens if I go from here to here I count down that is negative one and I count over one two three and I still get negative one third so as long as you pick points where your grid intersects um, you're going to get the same slope. Just sometimes you're going to have to reduce if it's not already in lowest terms. So let's take a look at these four examples here. I'm going to do uh, four more with you before I would like for you to try some on your own. And notice for the first one on number three here, we have uh, a horizontal line. And so we have these two points here. And again, I could pick any two points as long as it's where the grid intersects. Um, but I'm just going to use the two points I'm given. So I first want to complete to uh, I want to do my rise and notice I can't go up or down. Right. So my rise is actually zero. Then I count over one, two, three, four. My run is four. So remember, if you have a fraction and your numerator is zero, that is automatically a zero. So my slope is zero, or you can simply remember that for all horizontal lines, the slope is going to be zero. I just wanted to show you, but um, if you can just remember that all horizontal, horizontal lines have a slope of zero, um, a little less work for you. Now let's take a look at number four, picking these two points right here. Again, it doesn't matter. I want to count down one, two, three, four, five. So my rise is negative five but I can't go left or right. So my run is zero. And remember, if you have um, a zero in the denominator of your fraction, that is a undefined. So the slope for this vertical line is undefined. And so just like with horizontal, if you can just remember that um, vertical is undefined, you don't have to uh, look at counting spaces or, or anything like that. So let's take a look at number five point closest to my right I count up one two three four five because that graph goes up my rise is positive five and I count over one two three slope is five thirds and then the last one starting at the point closest to the left here count down one two three since I had to count down I know my slope is going to be negative or again I can see that that line falls from left to right so um, right my rise is negative three and then I kind of drew my circle a little bigger here so just to change the color I'm actually right here okay then I have to count over one more space so my run is one so that is going to reduce to negative three and that is the slope of this graph. So let's try some on your own. So I have these four examples, examples that I would like for you to try. So go ahead and pause the video and try these four problems on your own. I have the answers here. Go ahead and pause the video and check your work 
as you can see I did write in my rise over run and my fractions are reduced hopefully you got them correct go ahead and check your work okay so I have four more problems that I would like for you to try these are your last four problems so please pause the video and try these four problems on your own all right so I have our last four problems here the answers for them so please pause the video go ahead and check your answers and I hope you get them correct all right we've reached the end of our lesson and I want to thank you for learning with me if you haven't already please like comment share and subscribe and once again I want to thank you for learning with me